Welcome back to the channel. Right, today I'm going to finally play Anthology Volume 2. Um, this was released on the 18th of March 1996. And obviously it's the second of a trilogy. And it features like rare outtakes, live performances, and a lot of studio stuff, and the help sessions right the way through just before they left for India, which is just after the Magical Mystery Tour. So, should we open it? Oh, I'll tell you what I watched the other day, which was quite interesting. Um, while well, I was a little bit laid up the other day, I watched on Netflix, it was 50 years ago today, Sergeant Pepper and Beyond. Bloody interesting, isn't it? and it featured this sort of this era, you know. It was like when the beat will stop being like the Mersey beat and went through the folk sort of stuff and went psychedelic. And this is my favourite Beatle era. Now we're in, we're in, we're in. We're in. Oh. Woohoo! Shiny cover. Very shiny indeed. Look at that. Cellophane bit. I do like. Whoa! Definitely Pepper era. Whoa! Yeah, look at that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And, yeah, anti-static. Ooh. Starts off with real love. <clears throat> the, uh, another Lennon demo, like Free as a Bird, that Yoko gave to Paul after John's death, of course. Um, Pucker. Looking forward to playing this. It's quite a long one, so... Should we get on with it? So, let's get it on and have a look at that vinyl. I'm too keen on that, Diego Stini. But there you go. Anthology Volume 2. Proper look. Mint. It's pretty sexy, doesn't it? Let's get it on now. Right. Real love. I'll be back in a little while. Wow, so many gems on here. This sounded fantastic on vinyl. Um, marvellous, marvellous stuff. Still a bit of a pain in the ass getting that third disc out, but it is what it is. Um, so I'm not going to go through all the tracks on here. I'm just going to mention just a couple, but i um, very, very happy with this. This will probably be my favourite out of the three, you know, out of the trilogy. Um, I absolutely love this. Um, so it kicks off with Real Love. Beautiful song, and it's when, back in 96, when they all got together, Yoko gave Paul some tapes, and uh, the Beatles reformed. Um, but to me, Real Love, beautiful song, love it, but it sounds like a John Lennon song, as opposed to a Beatles song, to me. But, um, yeah, brilliant. Then obviously it goes into Yes It Is, blah, blah, blah. You've got to Hide Your Love Away, it sounded great. Loads of... What was so really nice, I mean, yes, the live stuff is cool on here. It really is nice, and it gives you that flavour of Beatlemania and all that, but it's the outtakes. You know, the, I remember hearing them back in 96, or was this, was, did this one go? Yeah, back in 96, and um, thinking, wow, that's amazing. You know, completely different. Um, 
Also, there's a couple on here that weren't released, like If You've Got Trouble, the Ringo song, which I quite liked. I quite enjoyed it. Uh, and that means a lot. Um, I feel like that was all live. Norwegian Wood. That was brilliant. Proper um, sitar over this. It's very twangy and but still gorgeous. I'm looking through you. That was laughing. Oh, that 12 bar original. Boom, boom. Uh, what track was that? Side two, track eight. 12 bar original. Honestly, as it come on, I could hear Booker T and the MGs, Green Onions. Had a very little, had a mod feel about it, I think, you know. But beautiful. Really, really cool. Then it flips over to side three, and it starts off with a very trippy version of Tomorrow Never Knows. I would love to know how they come up with that sound in there. It sounded amazing, but God knows. Dreamy as you like. Oh, no, it's not. It's No, it's not. Got to get you into my life. And it's And Your Bird Can Sing. That was cracking me up. I remember hearing it when I first heard it. You can hear them laughing all the way through it. Sounds bloody marvellous. You feel like you're in there with them. Um, rock and roll music. She's a woman. Oh, I'm only sleeping. Eleanor Rigby and all the strings. Strings only. That's nice. And I think on side... Yeah, it was. Within You, Without You. There's uh, instrumental of that as well. Which is kind of cool. On side... Five. So it's record three. Mm. Um, but anyway, Side Force kicks off with a beautiful home demo of Strawberry Fields Forever. Oh, it's lovely. It is lovely. It actually, Side Force, the first three tracks are Strawberry Fields Forever. And you can hear the progression. I think it's like the home demo version. And then it was uh, Take One in obviously Abbey Road. And then it was um, Strawberry Fields Forever Take Seven an edit piece uh, I think that's like the final one that we all know and love an early version of Penny Lane Day in the Life was lovely Good Morning Good Morning only a northern song sounded brilliant then side five being for the benefit of Mr Kite takes one and two that was cool Lucy in the Sky was wonderful yeah Within You Without You side five instrumental Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club. Oh, and it's got You Know My Name. Look up the number. The full version. Full stereo version. Um, then Side 6, I'm the Warrest. Fall on the Hill demo was lovely. Kind of cute. Your Mother Should Know. That was really cool. Fall on the Hill, take four. Hello, goodbye. Lady Madonna and Across the Universe. Yeah, really, really enjoyed playing this. This is a fab album. And also, fab artwork. This is, I think, is Klaus again. Klaus Vorman that put these three together. Absolutely brilliant piece. But yeah, lovely parts of the collection. Really, really happy with having Anthology 2 to the collection. And I am actually looking forward to getting the third one now to have the collection. And also, I'm looking forward to getting the box, to be honest here. Because um, obviously, this and Revolver just do not fit in that box anymore so that one's ramo um like i said when it's finished i'm going to put them all in chronological order the only thing that miffs me about doing that really is on the booklets that come with it they've all got their number in big bold white on the front so nitpicking and i i know but yeah thoroughly enjoyed listening to anthology 2 highly recommended um, definitely prefer it to the first one, even though when I played the first one, it was wonderful. But the sound quality on some of the early ones, it's got to be expected. You know, it's the complete story, really. And also, I've started watching the f documentary again. Because I think the other day when I watched that, and it is well worth a watch, by the way. Uh, it was 50 years ago today. If you've got Netflix, it's just on there. Uh, just under two hours. Really, really good documentary. Um, but yeah, after that, I've started on Anthology again. And you find yourself just immersing yourself into it again. So that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, what's next up? Um, I think it's on the air at the BBC next, I do believe. <sighs> oh, got a way to go yet, though. 
yeah, got quite a way to go yet, I think. But then again, you never know. They've been getting earlier and earlier. But this is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. So, really, that's it for today, guys. If you haven't played Anthology 2 on vinyl and you have it, have a go. Have a go. It's wonderful. From help right the way through to the end of the Magical Mystery Tour. So, yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, have yourselves a great week, people. I'll be back with another ramble real soon.